In the previous slide, we have seen how we can calculate the branch target address. In this slide, we will be looking at the method of calculating the jump target address. Before going into the address calculation method, uh, let me tell you that jump is is unconditional branch, which means if if you see the uh, uh, instruction it's jump or j and then we have label which means we do not compare the value in the register inside the register that we did in case of branch instruction we did compare whether they are equal or not equal and based on that result we took the decision whether to branch or not but in case of jump when when the uh, when the assembler sees this uh, it just directly jumps to the level that means the memory address that is given but this is not uh, straightforward we need to do some calculations or the system goes through some calculation so we'll look at that but first of all let's see the instruction format the instruction format of j type instruction are like this uh, it's opcode and the rest is 26 bit address but if you compare this formatting with the R type and I type instruction, then we see that in R type we had opcode, then RS, RT, RT, shift, and uh, function. And for I type we had uh, uh, similarly opcode, source, destination, and then 16 bit constant. But but for J type instruction, we only have the opcode and the rest is our 26 bit address. So this from this 26 bit address, we need to generate the 32 bit address that would be our target address. So for that, let's take an example, which is jump that is J1024. This is, uh, let's say our example instruction. So how we can generate from this 1024, which is according to the format is a 26 bit address. This uh, uh, 1024 is going to uh, this field which is our 26 bit address that means a uh, 1024 will be converted into 26 bit binary values so if we come to this diagram then uh, 1024 will be something like uh, this let's say it is uh, something like this so I don't know what, what 1024 uh, would come out to be. So just for example, let's write this. This is our, uh, just assume that this is our 26-bit uh, representation of 1024. Now, from this, we need to, as I said, from this, we need to generate our 32-bit address from this. So how can we do that? We take this 1024, uh, uh, 1024 binary representation of 1024 in this field. But in this case, we did a left shifting, 2-bit left shifting. And this is because we already have discussed in the previous slide. This is because of the word aligned uh, address. Uh, I, if, I, if I write it again, so let's say our first address is this, 0. The second address would be what? Second address would be 4. The third address would be 8. And the fourth address would be 12 and so on and so on so if you look carefully then the lsb2 bits they remain zero all the time so that's why instead of uh, calculating this uh, this every time we, we generate this address we did it uh, 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 using hardware well, whenever we are calculating branch or jump address we do this uh, two bit left shift and put zero in this two lsb bit now we have 26 bit coming from here, 26 bit coming from here, and we have two bits here. So in total, till now, we have our 28 bits. Now, how many more bits do we need? We need another four bits. So this four bit will come from the program counter itself. And what is the address that program or what is the value that program counter currently holds? Program current a uh, program counter currently holds the memory address of this instruction of uh, the or example jump instruction. Again, this jump address of this jump instruction is 32 bit. So the program counter a program counter will be holding on to that 32 bit address. So the trick here is we take the MSB 4 bit from the program counters value and and put it here and put it in this field. So if we do that, then we have 4 bits here, we have 4 bits here and we have 20, 28 bits here. So in total, this makes our 32 bits. So this is our 
32 bit address now if you look carefully uh, or if you observe carefully then then you would uh, identify that in case of branch address calculation we uh, executed some arithmetic operation for finding the address destination address or target address but in this in jump j type instruction we did not do it because j type instruction they do not use any kind of arithmetic operation or they do not use uh, ALU or adder for calculating their address so what is the process that uh, the, uh, what we call this process bringing this four uh, uh, msb4 bits and uh, attaching them with this 28 bit this is called the concatenation method we just concatenate the msb4 bit of the program counter with the 28 bit that we generated this gives us 32 bit this 32 bit uh, replaces the uh, previous 32 bit from the program counter because we know whenever our assembler or the program needs the address of any instruction it needs to look in the program counter so if we add uh, update the value of the program counter when our program goes to any memory address that memory address is from the program counter that means that memory address is given by the program counter so if we replace our generated 32 b if we replace program counters value with our generated 32 bit value then the next instruction address would be the value that is in the program counter so that this is how we calculate the jump instruction